y'all, it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl. And over here, I like to focus on all things vinyl, sublimation, and screen printing. I don't focus on perfection because without mistakes, how else are you supposed to learn anything? I have over 15 years of professional experience, if you want to call it that. So you might see things done a little bit differently than what you're used to. Also, I have epilepsy and they're still adjusting my medication. So <laughs> you might see me stumble over my words or forget words or mispronounce words. Words are hard. I might miss a step in a tutorial. I might edit something wrong in the editing process. So please be understanding. I'm also extremely honest about affiliate links, about things being sent to me. So if that sounds like something you're into, then why don't you think about joining the Cutting Corners family? If not, then you might want to buzz on because my honeybees have a real sting to them. So today we're going to sublimate onto adhesive vinyl. Now, not just any old adhesive vinyl because I've seen people sublimate onto like Oracle 651 and different laminated vinyls are not really laminated vinyls, but like clear laminate vinyls. But we're going to sublimate onto specialty materials, PSV, which means pressure sensitive. So it's an adhesive, but we're going to sublimate onto the ultra metallic opaque white. So that means it's a sparkle vinyl, which, you know, if you've followed me for a while, I love the sparkle. Now, one thing you will notice is if I'm, especially during the intro, if I'm stumbling or if like I have where my brain kind of goes wonky, I don't edit that out. My subscribers like when I leave that kind of stuff in. One, especially for people who are dealing with issues kind of like this, medical issues, it kind of normalizes things because for people dealing with medical stuff, you kind of feel embarrassed and you hide away a lot of the times because people can be cruel. <laughs> people can be really cruel. And people will make fun and say, well, you're this or you're that or you're on drugs or you're this. Well, yes, we are, but it's not those kinds of drugs and you have no control over it. And so being on camera and not changing these things is important because it kind of helps take the stigma away from it. Hopefully that makes sense. And sometimes if you see me where I'm kind of slowing down, it's to give my brain a chance to catch up so I don't sound so bad. And again, I'm not going to edit those moments out. I think they're important. And anytime I'm under the studio lights, my head is pounding because they just bother me so bad, but I'm not going to not use them because people won't watch these without them, like especially anybody new. And I think that they're important for people to get acclimated. Oh, I used a big word and it was correct. I'm proud of me. That's a big thing. I'm proud of me. Now, this video I think is going up on Monday, if I can get it done, because sometimes I can't. Next week, I don't, I, I cannot guarantee 
what the video schedule will be like. I have a specialist visit with a special neurologist that handles epilepsy in Houston and I don't know what my schedule will be, what videos will go up, so just be forewarned. But back to the vinyl. So this is what the vinyl looks like. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, how like sparkly that actually is. Oh yeah, excuse the dog hair. But look how pretty that is. That's without any sublimation on it. Everything in my house is covered in dog hair. We have three puppies, or three dogs. Two of them are actual massive puppies. But this is sticker vinyl. Now, the artwork that I am using, I created. It's free on my Patreon. Uh, it's linked in the description. So I have the Special 2 Materials PSV, which stands for Pressure Sensitive Vinyl. It's the Ultra Metallic Opaque White. So it is a beautiful, sparkly white vinyl. It almost has a little bit of a blue tint to it. I love this. It's a smooth, sparkly finish. Now I have the HTV Raunt. This is their new little heat press. It's like the Cricut Easy Press. Now I have the temperature set to 385 degrees for 15 seconds. Now they did send this to me to test out. I've been really enjoying this and it retails for $99. I have it linked in my Amazon store and it is nice. Now I just sprayed my sublimation design with the Condi Dye Trans Spray 2. I have an affiliate link with Condi. I love it. Now uh, you know I use that all the time. Now one thing you're going to see me do is I'm holding the mini heat press over it. My Cricut Easy Press died and it was funny because HTV Ront had reached out to me beforehand right before it died and I was like yes and I have do crafting sessions live on my Patreon and my Cricut Easy Press died during that. Now I'm trimming this as close to the design as possible on my sublimation design. I'm using the A sub paper. I have an affiliate link with them as well, but I love that paper. I'm gonna go off camera and hold this up to the light. I did order off of Amazon that I paid for myself a cuttables lighted non-scoring light board where I can like weed my vinyl and line things up because I've been having a lot of issues with my eyesight. So I will be doing a review over that. So I will let you know how that works out because I'm hoping that it kind of helps things because I am having issues with that. But again, the artwork is free on there. I'm trying to make the best of the whole situation. But as I said, the heat press is good and it also has like a pressure sensor so you when you push down it kind of tells you how much pressure you're using with it it's 10 by 10 it's 99 dollars and on amazon right now there's a like if you clip the little coupon thingy which it is in my amazon store so again if you buy anything that's listed in there it is i do earn an affiliate with it so i'm wrapping that in butcher paper because again to protect it in that silicone mat is so it's protected. I just kind of leave this here on that silicone mat because it's not going to burn anything down. 16 by 20. I think it was like 30 bucks on Amazon. Anything I buy off of Amazon, I do leave linked on my Amazon store because that kind of just leaves it there. Now, I turn off the camera here and I just leave it alone and let it cool completely. Now I'm back. Once it's cool, it's the easiest way to do things. I'm going to take my pick there and lower the corner, like pull it away from the paper because it does kind of stick. It makes it a little bit easier. 
And I know some people have complained, like, whenever they're doing vinyl about it not wanting to come apart. But this is one of the things I have learned from doing adhesive for so long is I'm taking my squeegee, squeegeeing it back down, and using a felted squeegee and pulling it away from the paper. This isn't anything different than if you get your vinyl wet and it getting stuck and just working it back down. You don't have to worry about losing your whole piece of adhesive because it got stuck. Now you will see there are a couple of little spots where my I didn't dry my Condi spray the whole way through and I'll kind of show you what I do with that. Um, I went and grabbed a couple of paper towels and my vinyl application fluid and I just take and wipe it down because it doesn't hurt anything. I mean, it really isn't that big of a deal. Um, I don't know if I've even remembered to show this in the beginning. Uh, what I'm putting this on and the reason why I decided to make it with a sticker instead of like actually sublimating on to or putting heat vinyl on this as I ordered the paper page I forget what the notebooks called off of Amazon and I didn't want to mess the notebook up and put it under the heat press itself and so I wanted to put something really pretty on it so yeah I did it this way. Now, the good thing about sublimating on this type of vinyl is you don't have to laminate this. It's in the vinyl. It's not going anywhere. So, I wish I would have done a little bit better job though of lining up my print onto my vinyl, but I'm hoping once I get the light board that it will help out with that. But again, I'm not 100% sure you hear Honey dreaming. She dreams a lot. This is what we deal with in her. <laughs> she dreams a lot. A whole, whole lot. But I hope that I will be able to line it up better. And that's one of the good things also with sublimation. And I also one of the good things about working with a sticker and doing this like this, I can have the corners rounded on this because that's going to help make your sticker last a whole lot longer, but still have that distressed look as well. So I think that that is also something that is important. Um, people don't realize that like whenever you're doing adhesive that keeping your corners rounded is going to be something that is going to help make it last a whole lot longer and I am absolutely in love with how this came out now remember if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button right, right down below and if you hit the notification bell icon that will notify you when I post new videos which right now with my health issues there's not a set schedule I wish that there were but look how good that looks Tell me that's not great. But yeah, I love you guys and I will see y'all in the next one.